What is up? So today's project we'll be making a smoker, a smoke machine. We'll be using it to test vacuum leaks in the car. So the idea is we'll use this jar, generate some smoke, we'll pump some air in and that will push the smoke out. So for this project we will need the following. Of course the jar, two tubes, two adapters, the soldering iron and glue. And so far I spent less than $10 on this. So the plan is we'll drill a hole in the middle and that's where the soldering iron will go and the two adapters will be on the sides. I got this cheapest soldering iron from eBay so it, conveniently it has the screws. So the idea I'm going to reuse the screws. I'll undo them, put this jar lid on and put the washer and retighten. So it is just about 12 millimeters. The soldering iron will go here, the intake of the air will go here, and this is where the smoke will come out. Let's drill the large hole for the soldering iron first. To make the hole nice and even, I'll do the rest of, with this reamer. Alright, just like that. Pretty good and even. Now I'm just assembling the soldering iron. And now the idea is we'll put the same three screws back through the lid. So we'll mark it. There you go. Nice. Okay, so let's do the air intake tube next, which is the skinny one. It is five millimeters. Clean it up a little bit. Perfect. And finally, let's make the last hole for the out adapter. So we're going to start with this two and apply a layer of glue around them. One. Two. One side note. After taking the soldering iron apart, I'm so glad that I did. Uh, you see the contacts they exposed. If you, if you want to get into soldering or need a soldering iron for anything, do not go with the cheapest alternative. Uh, this thing is kind of junky. The cable is so soft and um, I need it for just, just one, one or two times to work. 
but if don't expect this to last for any number of times and don't expect this to work for any meaningful projects. I'm not applying the tape any lower than this because I don't know how hot the element would get so I don't want it to melt. Nice, so let's now apply the glue from the inside. Let that cure for a bit. It looks like they seal perfectly. Even though the glue is not fully cured yet, still pretty soft, I'm going to go ahead and install this soldering iron. And now the two screws that, that are holding the heating element So this is what the final product looks like Screws in the jar like this Okay, so finally I put some glue around the soldering iron I was gonna try to save it and see if I can use it but it it is so crappy, I decided this is gonna be the only application that I'll be using it for. And I also put a couple of drops of glue also inside the handle. Hopefully that will seal um, the, this tube itself. That way no air will leak through the handle. So that is it for today. Um, so here's our final product. Next week, is going to be a true test whether this will work or not. That is it for now. Take it easy, guys.